Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Cloud Deep Dive. In today's video, we will talk about a new service launched by AWS, AWS Vault Injection Simulator. In this video, we will talk about how this service works, what use cases it, it solves, you, solves for you and how it will help you. But before going to Vault Injection Simulator, let's first understand what is Chaos Engineering because Vault Injection Simulator is related to Chaos Engineering only. So it's good to understand what is Chaos Engineering before uh, diving deep into fault injection injection simulator. So chaos engineering is a process of stressing an application in testing and production environment by creating disruptive events such as sudden increase in CPU or memory consumption, or it can be like stopping your RDS or EC2 instance or uh, simulating the API throttling errors or kind of like servers outage conditions and during those is disruptive events observing that how your system is responding do you need to make any kind of improvements in your system to make sure that during these events your system is working properly chaos engineering basically help you to discover any blind spot that deserve additional monitoring or alarming system maybe uh, you don't have any kind of alarm when your cpu utilization goes beyond 70 percent and during this engineering test, you find out that is missing and you, you may hide those things during that time uh, after doing this uh, chaos engineering. Uh, it also helps you to uncover uh, uncover once hidden implementation or performance issues. Suppose uh, there is any performance issues are there, so it helps you to uncover those performance issues as well. And it gives you opportunity to improve your operational skills with an eye, of, <clears throat> with an eye towards improving recovery. So basically, all, all in all, it helps you to find out the blind spots in your application or anything or any reliability related thing which you might be missing in your uh, app application. So Chaos Engineering will help you out. But in norm normally, whenever you try to do it, it's very difficult to perform all these actions, right? In a real world, it's very challenging to perform this Chaos Engineering. And Fault Injection Simulator, simulator helps you to perform all these things for you. So what is Fault Injection Simulator? Fault Injection Simulator is a fully managed chaos engineering service. So whatever you do in chaos engineering, now you can do it from your AWS console by using this Fault Injection Simulator. And it's a managed service that makes it easy, easier for a team to discover an application's weakness at scale in order to improve performance, observability, and resilience. So basically, Whatever you are doing manually, now you can use this particular tool to inject those false alarms. Like you can inject uh, that a false like CPU memory consumption is increased in your EC2, or you are injecting that okay, stop my EC2 instance suddenly and see what happens. So all those things you can do it using these tools instead of writing your own scripts or doing it manually. So it helps you to overcome that challenge. If we talk about architecture wise, how it helps you. So fault injection simulator basically can be accessed from your console and command line. It again, like any other service, it needs a role because fault injection simulator will be dealing or will be talking to your EC2 database or SSM and uh, RDS, ECS, EPS things. So it need to assume a role so that it can perform actions on these services. So that's why it's linked with the IAM. In Fault Injection Simulator, you create experiment uh, templates. So basically you define an experiment and that experiment basically consists of an action and a target action suggests that what you want to do, what kind of a fault you want to inject in a system. And it can be like stopping EC2 instance, stopping RDS instance, or increase the CPU or memory utilization of any EC2 instance, anything. Uh, there are certain lists they provide. And target is basically on which target you want to do. Suppose you're saying, I want to stop an EC2 instance. So on which instance you want to stop it. So experiment is basically consist of those two, two things uh, mainly. And uh, then you can start your experiment. It will perform that experiment on the resources you provide on the target. And you can provide a duration that or that after how much time this particular uh, experiment will stop. So, uh, and you can, you can also, it's also integrated with CloudWatch Alarm. So you can also integrate CloudWatch Alarm where you can say that, okay, stop my experiment once the alarm is kicked off. So those kind of things you can do it. So that was the overall kind of architecture, how it works, how it looked like. 
So let's go into the console and see how you can uh, create a experiment, how you can add the actions and target in that and how it works in Ruby. Okay guys, I have logged in into my account and uh, as a previous what I've done that I have two EC2 instances running in my North California region, uh, which I'll be using as a target instance to stop them. Uh, now let's go to management console and you can find AWS FIS under uh, developer tool. So let's click on that. And first thing when you uh, come on this, you will land on this particular screen. And here you have um, some kind of pricing options that it tells you how much is gonna cost and some other information, what are the benefits of it and a you know, little bit uh, on the diagram, how it works. Basically you simulate something, you create an experiment, you get it in check to these services and uh, then you stop and you can use the results and all those things. So let's start by creating an experiment. For that we'll click on create an experiment template. So like I mentioned in my uh, slide that you have a experiment template uh, that you run and as part of experiment template you have uh, your actions target and stop condition so uh, starting with experiment template first we'll give a name or a description to this suppose i'm saying ec2 experiment next you have to uh, create a role and you have to provide a role to this uh, <clears throat> experiment so that role basically talks about if i go to learn more uh, to set up, you have to set up some IAM permission. The first permission it talks about that I am a user and role. So this permission is basically if you have any developer who want to access this uh, FIS, so you have to uh, how you can provide permission or how you can update your policy to give him permission to access this particular uh, FIS uh, <clears throat> feature. The second policy talks about that you have to create a role which. FIS service will assume to connect or to um, do some actions with your AWS resources like your FIS will uh, talk to EC2, it will talk to ECS or it will talk to EKS. So to perform certain operations on these services, you have to create a role which you need to assign to this FIS service. So here is a policy which they have provided, AWS provided and you can use that. There are two things you have to do. One, you have to attach this policy. And the second thing, you have to create a trust relationship. So you can do that in your IAM role and create a role. So for now, I have already created a role, FIS role, and I'll use that. So this FIS template will use or assume this role to perform certain actions on these AWS resources like EC2, ECS, or RBS, whatever target we provide. Next we have to give uh, provide an action but what action we want to do so let's click on add action we'll give action a easy to stop and here are the, all the action types you can do so you can do three actions on ec2 like you can reboot the instances stop it or terminate it you can do one on ecs one on eks there are some related to api throttling or any error related to api you can do that as well Next, you can uh, perform certain actions on RDS and you can use your custom actions as well by using your SSM. And even by using SSM, you can simulate uh, network latency or memory stress or CPU stress, uh, those kind of scenario as well, you can do it. So for this example, we'll just go with the EC2 stop uh, instance. Uh, if you want to give some description, you can do a description as well. Now the next thing is start after, which is optional. So what it talks about, suppose you have multiple actions and you want to make sure that, okay, first I want to perform this action. Once this is completed, that I want to perform the second action. So you can specify it here that if you want to perform or if you want to uh, execute this action after, a, after any other action, so you can select that particular action here. But right now I have only one action, that's why I'm not getting anything. Uh, you know, in fact, let me do one, let me show you. So suppose this is my first action and I am adding the second action again and I'm saying that uh, terminate instance. So now we can see that I can specify that I want to execute the terminate instance uh, action after my EC2 stop is done. So I can select like this. So that's how you can create the dependency between these 
actions as well. So for this demo, let's keep it simple. We'll just go with the EC2 stop instance. Uh, next we have target. So by default, if you don't have any target, the one target will be created for you. And it's just a template. Uh, you have to specify who will be your target. Uh, I'll show you in a minute. But uh, you, if you have multiple targets, you can choose that which target you want to uh, target. Next, you have a start instance after duration. So in this case, like I'm stopping the instance. So suppose you want to perform your uh, cross engineering for three minutes or one minute or five minutes. And after that, you want to bring your system back. So you can specify here that uh, I want to uh, restart my system after one minute. So it will stop it, will keep it in stop state for one minute and after that it will start it back. And this time frame, if you provide in numbers, is uh, in minutes, but you can also provide it into ISO 8601 duration format as well. And there's a wiki here. I can link, uh, provide the link of that in the description. If you want to provide, you can provide in this format as well. So I'm saying that start my instance after one minute. So let's save it. Now we have defined our action. Now we have to work on the target. So one target is created by uh, FIS by default. And if you see in that, it has resource type is EC2 instance name. Now you can provide two different things, a resource ID. In that I can select my resources. Suppose I have two EC2 instance. I want to perform that action on these two. I can select both of them. Or I can provide the tags as well. I can say that, okay, all the resources with these tags, we need to perform this action. So let's keep our resource ID. Next thing is selection mode. Selection mode is basically you want to perform this action on all of these EC2 instance, or you want to give a count that, suppose I say one. So out of these two, randomly it will choose one instance and it will perform the action on one of the instance instead of performing on both of them for certain resource type you can also provide a percentage uh, that means like suppose you say 50 percent so whatever the target resources you're providing uh, suppose you're providing 100 resources and you get 50 percent so 50 will be targeted instead of targeting all of them so that's what you can do so let's keep it one instead of all or let's do both we'll, we'll try both of them uh, so selection mode is all so it will stop both the ec2 instances Let's save. Next, stop condition. Stop condition is basically when you want to stop this experiment. Uh, right now, it will be stopped after one minute because it will restart the uh, instances after one minute. But suppose you are not giving any time there and you want to stop based on some cloud watch alarm. But if I see two instances stop, it will trigger an alarm and after that it will stop. So you can provide that as well. Um, then you can, if you want, you can provide some trials. So let's create experiment template. So my experiment template is created. After that, you can see that what actions you're gonna perform, uh, what are the targets. I have two targets and tags information it's giving. And if you have any stop condition, like if you have any cloud virtual alarm or something, so you can provide that here. So now we can, what we can do, we can click on action and we can start. So right now it's just a skeleton. It's an experiment which got created. You have to start this experiment. Okay, so if you go EC2 instance, my both the EC2s are running. If I go and say start, start experiment. So what it will do, it will stop both the EC2 instances. So right now it's saying that pending. It's running and if you go to EC2 instances uh, in a bit, yeah, you can see that it's in stopping state. So this experiment is stopping, trying to stop both of the EC2 instances. And this is the one of the kind of experiment you can run saying that, okay, if my both the EC2 instances goes down, what will happen? Or you can say my one of the EC2 instance goes down, then what will happen to my application? You can test that application, whether it's still working or how it's behaving, do we need to add more monitoring? Or maybe you had any cloud virtual alarm on that that if my ec2 goes down that uh, is it triggering or not so you can perform those actions and make sure that they are working fine so both of them are in stop state and my experiment make sure yeah it's running because 
it will stop once it will restart those ec2 instances so it will wait for a minute and after that it will start the ec2 instances so let's wait for a minute and another thing here you will see the template so one of the template i already created earlier so the first one so this is the one which we just created and uh, if you click on that uh, you will see that information you can update it as well suppose i want to update and say that uh, target instead of doing at all i want to do it by count so i want to do it only on one of them not on both of them so i can update it and save it again so my experiment template is created uh, the next tab is experiment which shows that what all experiment i run so you can see that this is the latest one i just did it and if i click on it's completed now if we go to ec2 instances they both are running so it stopped them waited for a minute after that it brought, uh, bring it back and they are now in running state so that's how it worked guys so i was just wanted to show that uh, with the experiment update now we have the target as one uh, count as one instead of both of them uh, let me show you update edit in that i have chosen the selection mode as one count and one resource so out of these two randomly it will choose one of them and it will uh, stop one of the ec2 instance so let's go and start this experiment So yes, you can see that not both of them, one of the EC2 instance is getting stopped. So randomly it picked one out of two and it's stopping it. And uh, this experiment will complete once it stops, wait for a minute and after that it will start it back. So that's how guys it work. Uh, and there are more templates you can create based on your need. You can do for the RDS, you can use uh, SSM or api throttling you can use uh, cpu memory or cpu uh, load or mem memory workload so you can you can play it around and uh, you can see that how your application behaves one thing i just want to point it out that don't start playing on production straight away with this uh, get yourself familiarized with this application do it on testing and uh, once you are comfortable then maybe you can start playing with it on production so let's see what happened to our ec2 instance so it's in stop state and if I see our experiment is still running so it will complete uh, in a bit. So you can see it's pending, it's coming back, it will be running in a in few seconds. So that's it guys for uh, this particular video. Hope you liked it, you understand what this new service is and uh, please provide your feedback. How did you like this particular uh, video and if you want any new service which you want to be covered in these videos please let me know i'll try to make a video on this new service please 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 like my video and share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel because i am launching a new video every week uh, i'm trying to uh, create a new video on the new services as much as possible but if you have any particular topic in mind please do let me know and i'll try to create a topic or video on that so till then thank you so much guys for watching